Hello everybody, this is Cybertron John, and today I am going to be doing a um, Minecraft series. So, this is going to be a Minecraft build series that I'm going to do, and I'm basically going to show you what I build, and yeah, I hope you guys wonder if it's cool or not. So, um, as you have just briefly seen for like a short second, um, we are going to be reviewing um, what these signs say I have built. So we're doing a Optimus Prime and Megs by me. Cybertron was pretty much the main theme of this. That's what I plan to do. And we got a couple of other things like the Unicron, the Nemesis, and the Ark. And we got Primus, obviously, because who would forget the creator of Cybertron? <laughs> Or the Transformers, really. So, um, yeah, without further ado, we are just going to take a ground view of it over here. So, here are Megatron and Optimus Prime, and this is Cybertron with the arc right there, and we got the head of Unicron, obviously. And, yeah, I, I did this in a mountain biome. Um, when I loaded up onto the world, I decided to do this in a mountain biome, so I had to demolish a mountain and with TNT and flint and seal and stuff but just to get the ground a bit more leveled for me to do this type of stuff anyway we're gonna go into flight mode so we can see a better look at these guys <coughs> so here is Megatron I know um, uh, these do look very simplistic and I will do a better version of these guys a bit more life-sized a bit more later on with the rest of space I've got on here. This kind of like forms, um, this is like one of them images from my uh, computer poster that I had um, before I just updated it. So you'd have this lightning, this white lightning flash come down, just dis destroy the whole entire ground and then we got Optimus Prime and Megatron doing a standoff um, type of fight scene ready to duke it out to the end. So, yeah, I do appreciate that these guys do look a bit goofy, to be honest, and this is not the best of what I can deliver to you, but... I wanted to do it for this build as a feature nonetheless. Now we shall look at a couple of the other features before we enter Cybertron's core. So here is Unicron and yeah this is this is Unicron and it looks actually pretty cool. I I did these pieces right here so he's got the glass panes and stuff to form the wires and energon leaking from his head as he orbits around Cybertron. Um, he does look, um, I've also done some shading areas, um, giving him some moss stone and different textures with the clay and the wool and stuff, so I've just been playing around with a couple of things. And I also want to show you uh, animation because I used the banners. Just, that is just amazing. The way that Mojang have just done that animation, it's just actually amazing, but, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, Unicron does look like he's been floating around Cybertron for centuries, or eternity, if you will. And this is supposed to form um, a scene from the 1986 cartoon Around the End, um... When we just see this and the orbiting Cybertron and then we get the rolling credits. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, this is from episode one. So, this is supposed to form the point where um, the Autobots go to another planet in search of Anjom because their conflict on Cybertron has been going on for a very good couple of years or cycles and as they're going out from Cybertron to search for Engine we got the evil Decepticons following them so yeah and again 
if I did find certain verities of yellow or purple, I just decided to play around with the textures just to give it a bit more of a cooler look. So, um, there you go. And this here is actually Cybertron. So before we get to the spiritual well-meaning of this, uh, with the beacon, obviously, um, hence that, um, this is basically Cybertron. Um, I did my best to try and make it look like, um, Cybertron through my own means, so, um, this literally looks like you got a, cer a sphere, and you just got towers and skyscrapers and spikes coming out of it, so, that is my version of Cybertron, and I do actually wonder, do you think that this is, would you say that this is your version of Cyber? this, is this like what you would say your incarnation of Cybertron would look like, or would you do it in a more better way, or something like that, um, so, um, from the Primus toy, I also added the double cannons on his arms from the Primus toy from, um, Energon, Transformers Energon, and that was also, that mold was reused for the Toys R Us subline of Primus in The Last Night for Mission to Cybertron, but, um, yeah, it does look like they do... I've done it on both sides, and they look like they camouflage really well as just twin towers overall, so, um, that's pretty good. Um, the bit down here, which kinda involves, um, oops, sorry about that, one to have flight mode. Um, this does kind of involve, um, Predacom Rising, so this wooden pole is the best I could do for Megatron's statue from Transformers Prime, just before they blow it up, um, this is literally the area where the Autobots, um, begin their reincarnation of Cybertron and rebuilding of Cybertron, um, in or- in order to, uh, keep Cybertron alive and thriving with life, and here it is where Bumblebee no longer is a scout, he becomes a warrior so for slaying the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. So yeah, um, now we are gonna come to the spiritual bit of this. Um, so, um, here is the living Primus, in my opinion. Um, and as you can see, there are some colorful, um, cubes flying out of the core, and that is because they are supposed to form, um, the Allspark from Transformers Prime, when Optimus Prime goes into Primus and kills himself, obviously, um, this, um, he releases, he gives the Allspark back to Primus, which therefore we just see, like, spirits coming out of the well of all sparks, and this is what the well of all sparks is, so I'm just gonna go in, go into it, and this is Primus. As you can see, um, I had no idea how to actually build the, um, beacon or give it superpowers. So what I had to do was, um, I had to build a pyramid in midair, as if you will, and then I just decided to build, um, the sp spherical core around it, um, and I've had some glass panes and stuff of light blue, um, stained glass, tried to use diamonds as, like, a glowing effectual piece of it as well, and to light up the place, we've also got beacons, um, around the place. Now, previously, this place did look a bit dull, because... It was pretty grey, so what I did was I just collapsed itself, collapsed it in on itself, just once, <coughs> one block in, and I've used the use of diamonds for Energon, going around the planet, obviously, underground, diorite, 
and I've used Prismarine for certain elements like the pillars and stuff like that just to give it a decorational feel in here just to make it not look so dull and boring but yeah um I feel like I've done well I I feel like this has become a masterpiece and I just find it actually quite cool the fact that I've done so many things from Generation 1, so from like Season 1 to Episode 1 to the couple of episodes of Battle on Earth to the first ever Transformers movie we got in 1986, and that literally, the, this, this, and this actually become like a flashback of that. Um, if you were a person who watched the cartoon in the 80s. Now, because um, I did build this in a mountain biome, it snows, so I had to do, like, um, a glowstone shelter over it, so it's got a bit of light on going onto it, and, yeah, um, to be fair, that's pretty much fine, fine for me. I like the fact that it snows here, because I've, I've left this, I've left, I've left one block open here, where I've got to have the beacon, um, able to actually go go up and be active but when it snows you got that like dust effect just coming down from the sky which I think gives it a nice effect when it snows in this biome so I'm actually glad I chose that place in the biome and yeah there are points when I do have a bit of a pest problem uh, with mobs that get inside here or just are roaming on top of Cybertron or stuff like that but it's okay because you can just knock them off and it's quite hilarious when you just knock them off so I find that quite hilarious but yeah um anyway um for for my next build I might actually do one of these two, or I may do Transformers Beast Wars 2 Lyo Convoy from the Japanese cartoon for my next build. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of looking at this build showcase I've given you. And I will see you in the next video. This has been Cybertron John. Peace out!